Good evening. Good evening. Ooh, she sounds like the voice from Good evening. <laughs> from Illuminations. Uh, we're meeting down in Victoria and little sicky still feeling sick, but a little better. A little better. It's for my head. And now I'm like amped on headache medicine, so. <laughs> and we're better. Well, for the most part, better. We're not on house arrest. And it's a weekend. And we get to go play in all I'm Disney World. Like to hear. <laughs> We're at the Coke store. I think Dom's getting nostalgic on us with uh, his, tomorrow being his last full day vacation. He starts busting out photos and we're, we're talking about our college program seven years ago. What did you say? I, I, pull, I said you're walking down memory lane. I'll put, up, I'll put up a photo, I'll find the two photos and we'll put up, up like before and after. The ones I just showed you. The ones that you just showed, yeah. It's like me and Dom on our last day of our college program. We look like completely different people compared to the photo from us at City Walk the other day. Dom says, as he put it, we look like rock stars. Yeah. Like we've become people. We should have, re uh, we should have reenacted that photo off Monday. Yeah, yeah like, we should have. Yeah. Maybe we'll do it tomorrow. I wore tighter fitting clothes. Yeah. <laughs> I wear like the same clothes. Kind of. oh. I wear a couple collars. Oh, you look cool. I look grown up. I look grown up now. Thanks. Bob. Before. Now we both get our hair styled. Yeah. Before I just buzzed it. By, but, by Shane. But as we learned the other day, I got the better hair. Oh. <laughs> okay, so. We're doing our usual thing backwards. Usually we do Giardelli in then basin, but the line for Giardelli was, did you see it? Oh yeah. It was out the door. So we're gonna wash our hands first and then get ourselves some free chocolate. And I think I'm gonna go with the peppermint basin, the hand scrub. I'm gonna go peppermint because I'm feeling the Christmas spirit in here. Sand almost in it. And that your hands have never felt too well. I want to take a bite. I may have just attempt uh, convinced Dom to try to do a hand wash at Basin. First time for everything. I don't even think the girls are gonna believe that he's doing this. It hurts. It does, but it feels it's like uh, exfoliating it. Wait until it's like life changing when you run your hands underneath the water to get all that scrub off. The girls are over there. They, they, they don't even. They don't even wanna. They don't even want, they don't even realize that Dom's doing this. See? Doesn't it feel weird? While you're, while you're washing, rinsing? Alright, we ditched our plans, because Dom, had, who had the realization was 22? About the time? About the time. That was Tom, yeah. Dom had the realization, they, where the goal was to finish Disney Springs and go back towards the landing to go to the gelato place to get that same shake that I got for Sarah so they could try it, but we realized it's past 10 and it might be closed. And this time it will be my fault if it is closed. Not like last time when we were... It's always your fault. It's not always my fault. But we're gonna go find out. Oh, it is open. It is once again. Once again. I think you owe me an apology. Oh, it's open. I think you owe me an apology. For what? It's open. Yeah. You owe me an apology. It's just like at Paris. I didn't say sorry then either. Why would I say sorry when I didn't even say it? Just because it's not in the vlog, guys, doesn't mean it wasn't said. Look at it, he's in his he's in his essence. They have like a crowd over there until 2 a.m. They're really trying to step up their nightlife game here at, at Disney Springs. No, no, this is a lot. So good, right? This is what I ate right after the surgery. Mm -hmm. There's so many people over there. Get in there. 
That's right, this is Springs is the place to be and be seen tonight. Well, late night runs until 2 a.m. It is always a great night at the clubhouse. A live band performs inside until midnight. Disney Springs ah. has the nightlife again. For Life real. Like it used to be, it used to be like this back in the day. It was called Pleasure Island. So like, we just went into more moto and Sarah asked the woman, at 11 o'clock with this whole late night nightlife thing they've added to Disney Springs from Thursday to Saturdays, at 11 o'clock you go through the Forbidden Lounge sushi bar door and there's a DJ upstairs in Morimoto. So we'll come back at 11 and check that out. But in the meantime, we're gonna enjoy some music. Look at these, these two lovely ladies. Fancy pants dream. Peter got for this me. Was out the last time we were here. Yeah. The first time we saw it, Sarah trying. didn't get it. And she always regretted it. And so we came back and it was gone. And now we're back in the So we got it. What do you think, Dom? I mean, Honey heaven. <laughs> you like that one? <laughs> That's good. I can really taste that, that stuff in there. Which that, one? The one the I can really taste all that in there. Yep. Yeah. 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 It tastes all that. So good. Dad? Maybe it tastes like honey. It's got a little spice to it almost. Like mint? Yeah, a little minty. Here's the menu for the late night Enzo's hideaway. Late night bites of mellow cocktails. They've never been. Hopefully, hopefully our friend Katie's working. We've only met her once, <laughs> but talk her we talked to her a lot. You guys ready? Let's go. You guys nervous? I'm pumped. I'm really excited. It's a hideaway. So I'm actually, I didn't actually walk past the bar last time we were here, so I didn't see that the refrigerator of aged meats over there. But this place is awesome. It's cool to like see it. We came close to close last time, so there wasn't anybody here. But it's cool that there's like full of people now. Okay, we're leaving, we're leaving Enzo's hideaway. And we're going to the bathroom, which is this way. It's connected to the Edison. Oh, look at this. Um, we leave the Edison. And there's two gentlemen. <laughs> neon t-shirts. With neon t-shirts on. Just having a good time with the jump rope. So are we gonna check out the Morimoto? Yeah, let's go. Um, this is the staircase to the Forbidden Lounge, the, the tiki bar, or the sushi bar at Morimoto. And I was like, she's like, do you want a menu? And I was like, we just wanted to see the DJ. She's like, okay, go up the stairs. And she's like, it's like nobody's here. I've actually never been up here, but here. you've have you been up here, Dom? Have you you've been up here? Yeah, we've been up here. Wow, nobody's here. Oh, that's dead. We gotta leave because this this is a dead party. Where's the DJ? Oh, he's invisible. <laughs> I like it up here. I like the vibe. I like the vibe a lot for food, but for the DJ aspect, no. But for the food, yeah, I like it a lot up here. So I feel like there's not really anywhere to dance. I've actually never even been in this restaurant before. I've never eaten here. Yeah. I like how you can see the restaurant. I think it's because there's not really room for dancing and the bar area is full of people eating. Yeah. This is more a place to come, chill, relax, have a drink, have, have a nap. You wanna go drop like 30 pieces of sushi each? What do you guys say? We'll see if Tom gets in. All right. Maybe next time, roll it down. Yeah, Dom! <laughs> well, we dropped Dom and Victoria off. Look how sleepy this puppy is. Give it a kiss, it's like crazy. But we had a good night enjoying Disney Springs with them. A lot of interesting things going on with like the late night Disney Springs on the weekends. Yeah. You can tell they're trying to compete with like bring back to Pleasure Island, compete with City Walk and stuff. But it was a lot of cool cool things getting yeah, offered. And I'm sure we'll be back for other yeah. things. But we have to go to bed because we're getting up early to do something super cool in the morning. But that means we're getting like five hours of sleep tonight. It's 
good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>